It's Phoebus Special Research Day in Pokemon Go, which means... Sorry, gotta delete all these quests because we're doing Phoebus research today. All the Pokestops are gonna give research that awards Phoebus. And of course, we also have a chance to find shiny Phoebus among that research. So, it's time to reel in the first task of the day. Earn a candy walking with your buddy. Well, my buddy candy literally just ticked over. So I'm gonna do myself a favor, switch over to a one kilometer buddy, and then probably actually throw this quest away. The plan, the strategy for today is to focus on the throw quests because those are the ones that you can actually kind of complete. They're a little more skill-based rather than, well, let's see what we get here. There it is, 15 nice throws. The other quests that are available are 10 great throws and hatch an egg. Hatch an egg and earn a buddy candy are sort of time gated and work counterintuitively to the other catch quests. Because for the catch quests, you kind of want to be somewhere with a lot of Pokemon spawning, which is why I'm headed down to the pike right now. And because I'm going to be spending a lot of time catching Pokemon, I'm not going to be moving around too much. So I'm not going to get a lot of distance. Now, if I happen to notice that my buddy is about to earn a candy or I have an egg about to hatch, then I'll hold on to the egg or buddy candy quests and I'll dump some space in my bag. But for the most part, I'm focusing on the throw quests. Hatch one egg. Well, I do have eggs about to hatch, actually. Point one, point oh six. Goodbye, buddy candy for now. Maybe I can get two hatching eggs at once. That would be ideal. 10 great throws. Well, here we go. Let's get started. Great. Ideally, you also want to find Pokemon that are going to break out from your throws so you can get multiple throws off a single Pokemon. Right now, I think the pike is a Chikorita nest, so it's a perfect place to get that done. Oh my god, Spiel, relax. Thank you. Here we go. Minun. That's one that's not going to stay in the... Well, you got to hit the throws. Oh, uh, and of course I catch it this time. Eggs hatching, which means I should complete my first quest right now. All right, it's time. First Phoebus check of the day. I am going to pine up though, because might as well. Free Phoebus candies. And if I can hit it, yep, should also count towards the great and nice throws. And now to pick up a new quest. Here we go, a nice big cast form. No, I'm just catching everything today, aren't I? Torchic, could be difficult. Oh yeah, oh. Here we go, finally. Something's breaking out. Two great throws, one Torchic. Oh, bye, I guess I'm only getting two out of it. Second try, Phoebus. Okay, we're within the nest now. I need four nice throws, three great throws. I can probably do that with two Chikorita. Oh yeah, definitely. I can do it with just this one. So the idea, and I mean, this probably doesn't help most of you because you're already done with the event, all of you, is to just keep going. Don't try to line up your quests and complete them all at once. Uh, if you don't have a Pokemon stack in your research, you can just stack all your encounters and catch them at the end to save time. However, because I have my Squirtle with sunglasses still hanging out there, um, I can't stack the Phoebus and catch them later. I could just leave them there and not catch them at all. But for today, I will be catching them as I go. There it is. 15 nice throws, 10 great throws. <clears throat> One sore throat and two more Phoebus to check. All right, thanks, Chikorita. I got what I needed out of you. What's up, man? How's it going? Oh my god, nice to meet you. <laughs> hey, you too. Good luck today. 15 nice throws coming right up. Plenty of Pokemon to do it on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No oh, critical catch. The last thing I want right now. Well, I can at least check this one. 
How many throws was that? 10? 11? I've lost count. Let's get five more. 11, 12, 13, 14. Might as well put the incense on. Give me one more Pokemon. 15. Two checks. And one more. I was just scrolling through my friends list real quick here and guess who got the shiny? The JM Gaming. You know him as Jake, Mystic Seven's brother. He's always getting the shinies and he's already got one today. GG, Jake. Three more quests done. Happened to get the buddy candy at just the right time. One more. Nope. I found my shiny. Yeah, Chikorita. What the heck? The one time I get an off-brand shiny, it's it's Chikorita. <laughs> That's all right. At least I got some sparkles for the thumbnail in case the Phoebus doesn't happen. It's all right. I caught a shiny today. Foolish odds. I say foolish because I'm at a nest. But full odds. Now Phoebus, please. Slight, slight detour away from the water to pick up some new quests because I just finished all three of these. Two and three. God. Uh oh, might be stuck. Got a wild bag on here, which is a candidate for next month's community day. Um, I would say it's between Bagon and Ralts if we follow the pattern. We're looking at a 10 kilometer Gen 3 Pokemon, most likely. So save your Bagons, save your Ralts. Personally, I'm hoping it's Ralts. And then we also see Gallade released alongside or maybe slightly before Community Day. But Bagon, possibility. I hope it's Ralts. Got a quick check and an egg hatching in about 100 meters. So I'm gonna hold on to those two. Ah. Gotcha. Egg hatching, which means two Phoebus soon available to check. Just reel them in here. Ooh, and then some easy throws. Okay, Phoebus, please. I haven't been using the rod. Phoebus. Oh, the water's gross. Two checks coming up. Did I mention Shiny Phoebus is available in the wild? It is. We've seen multiple reports and confirmations. So, not just from the research, but Phoebus in the wild can be shiny. And this one can be shiny. Two more checks. Grab some research from this plug stuff. Reeling it in. I almost dropped my phone. If I'm gonna find one, this is the spot. AR plus, please. Oh, sorry, Doc. Whoa, 117. Is a hundo? I'm out of Pokeballs. This could be a hundo. HP, attack. Ah, almost the hundo. Second chance, maybe last chance here at the lagoon. It's officially crunch time. 30 minutes left. I haven't seen as many Pokemon as I'd like. I'm headed up towards downtown now because I've exhausted all the Pokestops down by the water and I'm about to open my Meltan box out of sheer desperation. Never mind because I guess you can't have an incense and a box on at the same time. Well, at least the Pokemon are showing up up here. Three checks at once. I'm getting hot, sweaty, a little anxious about not having a shiny. I've started missing throws. I'm losing concentration. Ah! Okay, come on, come on. One more check right now. Oh, yes. Yes, I did it. Oh, and it's, this one's gonna be good IVs too. 
I just don't have a Pokeball for it. You know how much I love catching my shinies in Pokeballs. Dang. Well, I can't run because it's going to get stacked under my Squirtle. And I'm not ready to catch my Squirtle yet. We were down by the water for two and a half hours. And I get it here. Guess I'll take an AR picture. What are the odds I'm going to find another one? Probably low. Okay, I got it. The shiny Phoebus. Great throw. Great ball. Mm, kind of a bummer. Okay, no complaining. I got the shiny. I'm happy. 20 minutes left. Let's see if we can get lucky and find another, and I'm going to make this my buddy right away. You are 15 attack. Shiny. Phoebe star. Sorry, Pikachu. We got to start walking with this. 20 kilometers until I can evolve it to my Lodic. So, there we go. Two shinies in one day. I guess I do do that sometimes. A couple more city checks. Apparently this is the shiny Phoebus habitat. Ooh, 117. We could have another shot at a perfect here. Let's see. We have battle with the best. HP attack. Oh. Another near perfect. Ten more great throws. Two more Phoebus. Come on. Perfect timing. Two 10Ks hatching. Just picked up two hatch and egg quests. <laughs> Watch it be a Phoebus. Oh, Aerodactyl. And then, claim to, nope. There we go, that should be the last throw I need for the third one. Claim three, number two. And three. Two minutes left, uh, I just need to pick up any quest. Doesn't matter what it is because we can finish them even after the event ends. So that one I finished, across the street I haven't, back up the street I haven't. Okay, let me grab this one. Two. Ah, just missed it. All right, 15 nice throws, 10 great throws for two more chances at a shiny. Two o'clock, time to celebrate. What better way to celebrate than with a nice shiny Phoebus purple acai bowl. Okay, now it's time to get into my opinion and my feelings about the event. Personally, I enjoyed it, I did have fun, but at the same time, I also understand why some other people might feel differently. For myself, I tend to go into things trying not to have expectations because I feel like having certain expectations eventually probably just leads to disappointment. And of course, I do still believe that no one is entitled to a shiny, but I think there are a couple reasons why more people feel disappointed not getting the shiny during this event versus other shiny events. Obviously, there's a lot I could say about expectations and entitlement, but no amount of me talking about that is probably going to help the situation at all. So instead, I figured out the mistakes, the, the biggest issues that Niantic made with the event so that hopefully um, they can address those if they try to do something like this in the future and improve the event. Because I put a poll up on Twitter and right now, 6,500 votes, 68% of people said they did not have fun during today's event. Two thirds of the player base did not enjoy today's event. So obviously, in Niantic's eyes, that's a huge failure. And they probably would have been better off just releasing Shiny Phoebus into the wild like any other Pokemon. To have an event that focuses on a Shiny Pokemon uh, and then have people not enjoy that event is worse than just letting the Shiny out into the wild like everything else. So after reading through hundreds, literally hundreds, probably close to a thousand comments on Twitter, um, threads on Reddit about people's feedback, on the event and feelings towards it, I've identified two things that I think could really seriously be improved. So first of all, I would say that thematically, the event made a lot of sense. I liked the theme of it. In Gen 3, in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, Phoebus is a very hard Pokemon to find. It only appears in one lake, and it actually only appears in six or seven tiles in that entire lake and those tiles change around depending on certain other things that are happening in the game. So the idea of having to go to a very specific spot, like a Pokestop, to get a chance at your Phoebus, 
it kind of makes sense thematically. It's a hard to find Pokemon. You have to go to a specific place, the exact tile, and fish for it to find it there. Um, here, you know, we have to go to the Pokestop to get the Phoebus research task. So thematically, yes, it makes sense. I like that. However, I feel like it was sort of poorly designed. The throw tasks, and especially because of the number of throws that you had to complete, the throw tasks actually incentivize not catching Pokemon. I mean, you heard me say it here. What you want to do is find a Pokemon that's going to break out of your Pokeballs. So you're actually working against one of the core ideas of the game, which is catch Pokemon. For this event, you want to not catch the Pokemon. In fact, you saw me actually mad or upset when I would catch a Pokemon because I wanted it to break out. So that's kind of counterintuitive and goes against the whole philosophy of Pokemon. Now, aside from that, the two main issues were the three hour window and the fact that there was no additional bonus. When you compare this event to something like Community Day, Community Day is a three hour window, and the reason for that is because you want everyone coming out and playing together, and it works really well. Everyone goes to the best park in the city or the best spot in the city to play Pokemon, and they all play together because it's only a three hour window, so everyone has to come out at the same time and be together. When you also look at some of the other three hour window events that we've had, like the shiny legendary raid days, Articuno Zapdos, Moltres Day, that's another thing that encourages people to be together. You get together in a big group, and you just have huge groups of people walking to different raids together. Community day and raid days do encourage group play. Today's event with research doesn't really encourage group play. In fact, playing in a bigger group will slow you down because everyone's completing tasks at a different rate. Not everyone is gonna get their 15 nice throws or their 10 great throws at the same time. So the bigger your group, the more often you're gonna be waiting for someone. I saw a lot of people out playing during the event today, but for the most part, it was couples or just groups of two or three, really small groups, not big groups, not everyone playing together. We were all there playing at the same time, but not together. Completing research is not necessarily a collaborative task as much as something you can kind of do in parallel, but again, you're not always gonna be playing at the same rate as the other people in your group. And also because the window was only three hours, players, including myself, felt a lot of pressure to get these tasks done. You heard me say it in the video, uh, once it got down towards the very end, I was getting nervous and sweaty and missing my throws because I was worried about not having the shiny yet. So because of that short window, there was a lot of pressure to complete these sort of mundane tasks. I mean, the throws are one thing because you can actually work towards them, but hatching eggs or collecting buddy candy is just walking. If you're running out of time, all you can do is walk faster, and that's not really fun. The second major issue is that there was no bonus aside from the shiny. The shiny was the only thing there was to collect during the event. When you look at community day or the three hour raid windows for legendaries, they at least have an exclusive move. So even if you spend the entire three hours raiding or the entire three hours catching Pokemon and you don't find your shiny, you can at least get a sort of consolation prize in the exclusive move, something else that was only available during that three hour window. The shiny isn't the only prize. It's definitely the grand prize, the big prize. You want the shiny, but if you go three hours and you don't find a shiny Zapdos, at least you have Zapdos that knows Thundershock, which makes it a much better Pokemon. If you go the whole three hours and you don't find a shiny Bulbasaur or Chikorita, you at least get a Pokemon with Frenzy Plant, which is one of the best moves for not only PvP, but also for raids and gyms. So in those other three hour windows, there is something else that you can gain aside from just the shiny. During today's event, shiny Phoebus was the only thing. So if at the end of the three hours you didn't have your shiny, well, then it felt like you wasted your entire three hours. And of course it would be hard to give Phoebus an exclusive move because you do have to walk 20 kilometers to evolve it, but even just having double Stardust or double XP alongside the event would give people something else to get out of it. If we had increased buddy candy or increased candy and stardust for hatching Pokemon, that could also help incentivize those other tasks aside from just hitting the throws. So having some kind of other bonus or reward I think could help mitigate some of the disappointment in not finding a shiny. As it stands, a shiny is the only reward, aside from obviously the exercise and XP and Stardust and other Pokemon that you catch, but really, as far as the event goes, outside of the ordinary with Pokemon Go, the shiny is the only reward, and if you don't get it, 
well, of course, a lot of people are gonna feel disappointed about that. Now, there is one last issue that sort of stems from a combination of both of the previous issues, which is people don't feel like they have a lot of influence over the outcome of today's event. When you have shiny legendaries introduced and they're available over a period of, you know, a couple weeks or even a few days, at the end of those windows, you don't see nearly as many people disappointed that they didn't get the shiny. And I think that's because with those longer windows, with, uh, for example, with Groudon and Kyogre right now, you have two weeks. And if you really want the shiny, you can spend two weeks raiding. Of course, there are the rare cases of people doing 50 or 60 raids of a certain legendary and not getting the shiny, but that's nowhere near as common as the experience of doing 30 or 40 or sometimes even 50 Phoebus research tasks today and not getting the shiny. With a longer window, even say an entire weekend, if this event lasted an entire weekend, the players who really wanted to could spend all day Saturday and all day Sunday doing research tasks and eventually they'll probably find their shiny Phoebus. With a three hour window, you can do research the entire time and still not come away with a Phoebus. And in the case of today and this short three hour window, it feels like you don't really have control over the outcome. With a longer window, the players who really want to can work harder, can do more, can play longer to increase their chance of finding the shiny. With a short window like today, you either get the shiny or you don't. There's not really anything you can do to work harder than other players. You can't do more, you can't go above and beyond, you can't give yourself more opportunity. Today everyone was limited to very similar numbers and no one could really work harder to increase their odds. So to sum it all up, I think if Niantic wants to do something like this again, the two main issues that need to be addressed are the amount of time that the event lasts, this event doesn't really fit a three hour window, and also to add an extra bonus, to add some other kind of prize aside from just the shiny. If the focus is entirely on the shiny, then if you don't get the shiny, well, it feels like you've failed the event or wasted your time. If we could at least get something else exclusive or some kind of bonus out of it, at least we have that as a consolation prize. And of course, by extending the window, you allow players who want to work harder the opportunity to do that. So hopefully, if Niantic does do something like this again in the future, hopefully they've heard the community response. I'm sure they've seen it, they've read it. I'll make sure they watch this video. So hopefully the next iteration of a special research event will go better than today did. See you soon.